And so once again, welcome back to uh, Till When, O Yisrael, with Set Apart Eliyahu. Uh, and the name of this presentation is Beware of False Prophets. Many people have done it before. This is going to be a simple, uh, probably the simplest way to understand and know a false prophet. Beware of false prophets, for many shall come in my name, says Elohim. I want to tell you a little bit about how I came to do this uh, presentation. I've been reading the book of Bereshit, uh, in English that is Genesis, and I came to Noach in chapters 8 through 10, but it started for me all the way back at the beginning. And so um, we're, gonna, we're going to be talking about false prophets, and this is where it started for me, so you might not, like, why is he talking about Genesis and we're talking about false prophets. I'll show you why. Okay, let's read it together. Bereshit, chapter 2, verse 2. On the seventh day, Elohim finished what he had created, and he rested, Shabbat. Uh, that's, what, that's what it means. He rested, he Shabbat. Uh, Bereshit, chapter 3, or verse 3. Elohim blessed the seventh day and set it apart as a special observance. Inasmuch as he rested from all his work, Elohim created and accomplished. Your falsehoods go deep, my people, but here is the beginning. Note to the children. Thus the seventh day, the blessed day, Bayom Hashabi, was blessed from the beginning. You have known the truth from the beginning. This is why I write to you. Elohim blesses the Shabbat. No man can change that. The Shabbat is before Moshe, not after. As you see the times getting harder, lift up your head and look for our salvation draws near. Therefore, choose holiness. Here it is, folks, the simplest way. Anyone who tries to take you away from the Torah, which Yahweh your Elohim has commanded, is a false prophet. Now we're just touching the iceberg. We're, we're getting to the tip of it here. This is the beginning of a false prophet. Anybody who tries to take you away from holiness is a false prophet. Okay, uh, the next verse we have here, for it has been written, For as many sinned without the Torah shall also perish without the Torah. And as many has sinned in the Torah shall be judged by the Torah. For not the hearers of the Torah are righteous in the sight of Elohim, but the doers of the Torah shall be declared right. Amen. The universe will be judged by the Torah. Yes, I say, all mankind. Not the Torah for some and the Noahide for others. You are a false prophet and your father sinned. Learn righteousness before it is too late, my friend. Hang on a second here. Let me, let me click on something. So let me uh, just... Uh, I want to put up uh, some things here. Let's scratch that. Sorry about that. Let me bring you back in. Um, we'll go back down. I wanted to try to, because I have notes that I wrote on the bottom, but I remember them anyways, but it's just kind of talking points that I put down there so I remember to say uh, what I received in my studies. Okay, so once again, we'll just reiterate, anyone who tries to take you away from the Torah which Yahweh or Elohim is commanded, is a false prophet. It has been written, For as many as sinned without the Torah shall also perish without Torah, and as many as has sinned in the Torah shall be judged by the Torah. For the hearers of the Torah are righteous in the sight of Elohim, for not the hearers of the Torah are righteous in the sight of Elohim, but the doers of the Torah shall be declared right. 
Amen. The universe will be judged by the Torah. Yes, I say, all mankind. Not the Torah for some and Noahide for others. You are a false prophet and your father sinned. Learn righteousness before it's too late, my friend. Thus it has been said in the prophet Yeshayahu, Yahweh says to his people, Do what is right and just, for soon I will save you. I will bless those who always observe the Sabbath and do not misuse it. Now careful, because he says it's also a, re a reflection of not misusing it. Many people use the Shabbat for evil gain. That's a whole different topic and we won't go down that rabbit hole. But what we're discussing today is uh, I will bless all those who do nothing evil. So love does no evil or harm to a neighbor. So love is just not this ooey gooey charismatic thing. Uh, it says that I, um, Yahweh will bless all those who love me and keep my commands. That we, we learned that we learn what love is and, and a better reflection in the Ten Commandments. Right? So look at he says, I will bless those who do nothing evil. And the Most High says to those foreigners who become part of his people, who love him and serve him, who observe the Sabbath and faith, faithfully keep his covenant. I will bring you to Zion, my sacred hill, give you joy in my house of prayer, and accept the sacrifices you offer on my altar. My holy temple will be called a house of prayer for the people of all nations. Um, that That's really beautiful there because we can clearly see here that under the current leadership, under the uh, current Jewish leadership, this would never happen with the house becoming a house of prayer for all nations. Um, you know, for, for they whipped a boy nearly to death because they thought he brought a Greek into the house of Elohim. So uh, in their jealousness, they've caused people to fall and they have taught a false, do a false doctrine that there's a Torah for Yisrael and for the foreigner, there's the Noahide laws which uh, is just not true, and we're going to get more into that. Stay with me here. Next slide. My relatives, the Yahudim, tell Goim to keep the Noahide laws and remain a proselyte at the gate. The blind leading the blind. The outcome is fatal in the end. There is no Noahim covenant after the man of Elohim, in who we gain insight into the coming of the prophet that would be like him. Thus Moshe was a mighty one of Yah. Hallelujah. Here we go. Therefore, if you disobey Yah your Elohim and do not faithfully keep all his commandments and laws that I am giving you today, all these evil things will happen to you. So this verse came to me when I was doing this Beware of False Prophets because you know these people are claiming peace. They're saying, Oh, peace, prosperity, and, you know, send in your tithe and be blessed with an abundance and, you know, send me a gift and you'll receive healing. And, you know, uh, you know, even the Yahudim, you know, calling and constantly asking for a blessing and, and Zedekah and uh, Zedekah and, you know, give, give, give. They don't realize that we have not kept the commandments and the laws and all these evil things happened to us. To all mankind, not just the Yahudim, but to Ephraim, to Caleb, son of Yephuneh, many people are going through a tough time. And here it is, folks. A false prophet, simply put, will tell you the Torah doesn't apply to you. Return in order to receive times of refreshing in the Master. Amen. So, uh, I did this presentation just to make it a little bit more personal, um, I'm not a real high-tech savvy guy, but I'm, I'm getting there. And simply put, a false prophet will tell you that the Torah doesn't apply to you. So Christianity says, yep, you know, they support this doctrine of the Yahudim, the Jewish people that say that, you know, believers in Messiah that come from the Goyim, um, you know, they, they, they are believers that just come to be Orthodox Jews. They don't have to keep the Torah. 
They just have to do the Noahide laws. And first off, it's so disrespectful to Noah to name this covenant after him as if he's like some inferior person that was the best that the Almighty had to work with. That is not true. Please stop saying that about the one that was first mentioned as a righteous one who walked with Elohim, perfect in his generations. Please stop that. That is not truth. You are not you are not preaching and teaching truth. You're preaching jealousy, lies, and deceit. Okay? Stay with me, folks. Next slide. You put to death any interpreters of dreams or prophets that tell you to rebel against Yahweh, who rescued you from Mitzrayim, where you were slaves. Such people are evil and are trying to lead you away from the life that the Almighty has commanded you to live. They must be put to death in order to rid yourselves of this evil. Now let's make a very important point, because uh, I don't want to get kicked off of YouTube. I'm not saying to put anybody to death. This is the Torah, folks. There are, there are things that we cannot do until Elohim takes up his throne. Now, what the, the point of this scripture being related to you now is that this is, again, somebody trying to lead you away from the life that the Almighty has commanded you to live. This is false. This is dangerous. And they're trying to steal you away from the one that gave you freedom, holiness, and righteousness. We are free to be holy. We don't need to be held down in these man-made systems of religion, which are really only Elohim in themselves to the lesser reflection. They want to be worshipped. They have their traditions and their, their things that they do. And you go to these cults, these religious cults where... You know, if you say one thing that's disagreeable with some of these people, they kick you out the door and it's like, we are truly living in a cold time. I mean, you make a mistake right now, somebody will cut your heart out your chest and serve it to you on a platter. I mean, we are, we are living in a cold time. Uh, so let's read the note down here, uh, right where the blue is. It says, uh, there is not a covenant of Noahide laws after the man of Elohim, Moshe. All will be judged by the Torah, and most importantly, the covenant behind the Holy of Holies, in the Ark, the Ten Word, the Covenant. You have led the whole world astray with your crooked paths. You brood of adders. In your jealousy, you have acted foolishly so as to bring the Goyim into condemnation, not realizing that's where our lost relatives are coming to us from. Return and confess and be saved, my son. Hallelujah, he will bring us home soon. Excuse me. We see that the mighty one of Israel will have mercy on us. Many false prophets say otherwise. As it was in Mitzrayim, so it will be again. I've learned in my belief that he will only have mercy on those who acknowledge that we have walked contrary to him and that he has walked contrary to us. To acknowledge that we broke his covenant, we have been in our sin and have served other mighty ones. We broke his covenant, therefore we are slash were in need of redemption. The death of the firstborn sets us free. I speak a riddle to you right there. May you have ears to hear it. And now I say amen. So the, first, the, the death of the firstborn sets us free. Um... Wait a second. Let's go back. And uh, so right after the Amen right there, if you go up, it says, If we return, he will give us his spirit, the Messiah, the Prince, whom your forefathers denied and called him idolatry. It's because of ignorant Yahudim that Catholicism and Christianity even exist. They shall be your judges. For this says Elohim, O Yisrael, there was no foreign mighty one in your midst, for I am he, Anihu. Elohim will save his people in truth. Elohim cannot and will not dwell in the midst of a sinful, morally wicked, unclean, hateful, conceited, and boastful people who boast in themselves and their traditions, but never do what is right and just, who tear up the word and mistranslate it, that lead the lost ones astray. You are mocked and hated, and rightfully so, because you refuse to humble yourself. 
That's why many of you will perish in the ways of your forefathers. Till when, O Yisrael, will you be made clean? For I have washed you in my righteousness. This says Elohim, who is clothed in righteousness. You bend the Torah to fit the sins of your fathers. When will you learn, my people? How many times must I afflict you? Haven't you suffered enough at this point? Turn to me and I will heal you and write my covenant on your heart and I will give you a heart of flesh to replace your heart of stone. My teacher and his taught ones gave you truth, but you rejected them. You have mixed yourself with the goyim. Therefore, I use them for my final work. The man of Elohim rightly prophesied about you. The man of Elohim, Moshe, rightly prophesied about you, for his words have been established. Amen. This is the last slide, folks. Till when, O Yisrael, till when will you be saved? Now what I'm about to read to you, this is from Shaul, the blessed sent one for your and my benefit, a chosen one of Elohim, blessed with prophecy in the Rebemelech HaMoshiach Yahushua, the Basurus Hagula, the good news, warning us of false prophets. Let no one deceive you in any way, because the falling away is to come first, and the man of lawlessness is to be revealed, the son of destruction, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called Elohim, or all that is worshipped, so that he sits as Elohim in the dwelling place of Elohim, showing himself that he is Elohim. Do you not remember that I told you this while I was still with you? And now you know what restrains for him to be revealed in his time. For the secret of lawlessness is already at work. Yes, it is the secret of lawlessness, folks. Only until he who now restrains comes out of the mist. And then the lawless one should be revealed, whom the master shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and bring to naught with the manifestation of his coming. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan, with all power and signs and wonders of falsehood, and with all deceit of unrighteousness in those perishing, because they did not receive the love of the truth in order for them to be saved. Okay, folks, this is the end. Shalom to all. So uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what we discussed. And, and the Yahudim, they say that a goy has to do the Noachim covenant. And Christianity actually supports this. This is why both of them are a false prophet. A true prophet speaks the word of Elohim with boldness and practices and teaches righteousness. And he shall be called great in the Ba'is Hamikdash in the kingdom of the mighty one of Yisrael when it comes, and it's coming soon. Myself and my relatives we know. Even though my relatives are in their unbelief, they are a set-apart prophet, and many of the Yahudim are claiming and proclaiming that the Messiah is near to come. Folks, I tell you that it's true. We're, we're knocking on the door, and we've been in the time for quite some time. We're in the ten toes made of iron and clay. We're going to get more into the lesser reflection of prophets and, and uh, people uh, giving the Messiah a bad representation. Uh, we'll talk about the false Messiah, the anti-Messiah in place of the Messiah, which is Christianity. And that's the secret of lawlessness. But there's also another reflection of one who's to come. And another one might come uh, impersonating the Messiah very, very soon. So I tell you, if you hear of them and they say, uh, the Messiah, the, the Rabbi Melech HaMoshiach is in the wilderness. I tell you, do not believe. If they tell you, come, uh, Moshiach is in uh, synagogue or he's in uh, shul. I tell you, don't go. For when the Messiah comes, everyone will know. 
So folks, Shalom Aleichem to all of Yisrael and those fearing Elohim, and beware of those false prophets. In Yahushua Mashiach we pray. Amen.